Hello, I'm Nariman Ferverdin, President of Stevens Institute of Technology. As 2012 comes to a close and we usher in a new year, I wanted to share with you some impressive highlights from what's been a phenomenal semester in every corner of the university. First and foremost, I am incredibly proud and excited to announce the unveiling of Stevens' bold and ambitious 10-year strategic plan. Entitled The Future, Ours to Create, the plan charts the course for an institution that will grow in size, increase in selectivity, rise in stature, and play a leading role in solving some of the pressing and complex global challenges of the 21st century involving technology solutions for which Stevens has distinctive capacity and expertise. The strategic plan promises to continue to advance this institution to even higher levels of accomplishment and distinction than we ever have achieved in our 142-year history. And I can't wait to begin this journey. I'm also pleased to report that the media has continued to recognize Stevens as a national leader in higher education. We were the fastest rising university in the top 100 list of US News & World Report's best national universities advancing 13 spots in one year to 75th overall. Our career services were also ranked 13th in the nation by the Princeton Review. And according to payscale.com, our graduates earned the nation's 12th highest mid-career salaries. Another key achievement was the enrollment of our largest and most academically talented class of undergraduates in the university history. Joining the entering undergraduate class was a new graduate student cohort that is academically stronger and 33% larger than last year. In addition, we welcome 19 new faculty members who bring tremendous research and teaching experience to our faculty and build strength in areas of extremely important strategic priority. We also continue to expand and advance our academic offerings. The House School of Technology Management added four new undergraduate majors in finance, information systems, management, and marketing. And the College of Arts and Letters launched a program in science and technology studies, an interdisciplinary field which examines the intersection of social, political, and cultural values and scientific research and technological innovation. Early in the fall semester, our university got another tremendous boost when we received a record-setting $10 million gift from alumnus Greg Gianforte. This generous gift, coming off an already highly successful fundraising year, will fund the construction of an academic building that will enable interdisciplinary research, provide critical space, and take the first step toward our campus transformation. We also just received a $3 million gift from the American Bureau of Shipping for a civil, mechanical, and naval engineering laboratory complex, benefiting 800 students per year with a focus on cross-disciplinary, real-world problems. The past few months have brought a number of wonderful events and speakers to campus as well. We were thrilled to kick off the President's Distinguished Lecture Series, which offers the Stevens community unprecedented access to influential scientists, technologists, and policymakers. Our first speaker, Mr. Norm Augustine, is a renowned defense and aerospace industry executive who offered fascinating insights on the role of technological innovation in the 21st century. Karina Cordes, the head of Google Research New York, also joined us as the inaugural speaker in the new Provost's lecture series on women in leadership. The series is designed to showcase prominent and successful women in leadership positions and motivate the next generation of women leaders in technology. Another sensational event was the Stevens Family Reunion. Stevens is named for a distinguished family of engineers who were responsible for some of history's most influential maritime and railroad system innovations. Approximately 75 descendants of Stevens' founding family returned to campus for a special reunion celebrating their ancestors' tremendous contributions to American progress. It was an unforgettable weekend for all who attended. In athletic news, the Ducks have much to be proud of. The field hockey team won its first ever Eastern College Athletic Conference title this fall and the women's volleyball and soccer teams competed in their postseason conference tournaments. The men's soccer team, which was ranked as high as fifth 
in the nation this season, won its sixth straight conference championship and advanced all the way to NCAA Sweet 16 round, finishing with an impressive 18-3-1 record. As a whole, Stevens also captured its second consecutive Collegiate Athletic Administrators of New Jersey Cup, an award which honors the New Jersey Division III institution with the most success across the entire athletic department. On the research front, our faculty and students continue to impress. Nine Stevens researchers were honored this fall at the New Jersey Inventors Hall of Fame, including Professor Bruce McNair, who took home the Inventor of the Year Award, the top honor. Professor Matt Libero was awarded a patent for an innovative technology that repels bacteria and promises safer medical implants. A student team from Stevens placed first in an FAA competition which challenged universities to design solutions to technical issues facing airports. And the university and our faculty earned numerous grants to fund a variety of cutting-edge research activities, including commercializing cognitive radio technologies, building motion capture laboratories on campus, developing advanced infrared detection technologies, investigating water repellents in marine vessels, and creating next-generation coding for medical devices. Last but not least, I'd like to say a few words about how the Stevens community came together to overcome an unprecedented event this fall, Hurricane Sandy. Sandy was a severe and historic storm which devastated the lives, health, and property of so many in our hometown of Hoboken and across New Jersey. Although Stevens was in an extremely dangerous location, impacted by not only high winds, but also by storm surge from the Hudson River, we came safely through the ordeal thanks to the dedication, collaboration, and perseverance of the Stevens Emergency Management Team and our support staff. Our students also responded magnificently and their tireless volunteerism had a tremendous impact on many victims in the region. And meanwhile, our researchers at the Center for Maritime Systems were braving the elements to contribute to the national media's coverage of Hurricane Sandy's impacts with scores and scores of expert interviews with the New York Times, Good Morning America, 2020, The Weather Channel, and many other outlets. I must say, this was a remarkable experience for me, a relatively new member of the Stevens community. I could not have been more impressed with the dedication, the solution-oriented focus, and the tireless effort of the many members of the community who played a large and small role in getting us through this potentially disastrous incident. As we depart for winter break, I'd like to thank you and congratulate you on the many momentous achievements of the Stevens community over the past few months. I can't wait to continue our progress in 2013. Until then, happy holidays to you and your families.